The faceless figure in a Western hat highlighted the increasing Americanization of Japanese society in 1966. The Japanese artist Yushio Shinohara used highway billboard paint to create his pop art. The World Goes Pop looks at how artists around the world have interpreted pop art. The 1960s culture movement made famous by Andy Warhol and his colorful prints of advertisements and celebrities. The show has taken five years to compile. Two Tate curators traveled around the world unearthing pop art, some by artists who weren't even known in their own countries. We discovered so much that we didn't know about that has been left out of history that you can't even find if you Google and to, the, to us that was the most exciting thing. The show is divided by themes instead of geography. The artists reflected their own troubling times. Military juntas, the Cold War, the war in Vietnam, racism, women's rights. Many of the works are intense, overt social commentary, unlike the deadpan humor of the textbook American pop artists. The Red Coat for Eleven gave everyone the same skin, a charged image when racism was rampant. The Italian artist Nicola L. took it around Europe and was arrested in Spain for a political act. There's not a Campbell soup can or an American comic strip anywhere in the 10 rooms of this exhibition. The World Goes Pop is all about learning about global artists, women artists, artists who have been unrepresented in the history of pop art. 50 years on, the art is fun, playful, ironic, like all pop art. But these overlooked works show art at its best, bravely embracing political themes and questioning, often uncomfortably, what is happening around us. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.